Reviewing adding one place numbers. Master adding these numbers. You will be using them as long as you will be doing math. Be comfortable adding them before taking the test. Remember, practice makes perfect. And I can't stress that enough to practice over and over again and that's what makes perfection. By practicing going over these numbers. Remember, if you have difficulty, use these flashcards that we discussed in the previous lesson. And don't forget, when you do take the test, which is going to be at the end of this lesson, double check your answers. I've made few mistakes in using math because I've got into the habit of double and even triple checking my work. There's a common saying, measure twice, cut once. Measure or double check two times and cut once. I'm going to demonstrate on this 2 by 4 board. I'm going to measure this piece of wood. I'm going to measure it. 5 feet. Mark it. Take my square. Draw a line. Take my cutoff saw and carefully cut it. Now let me double check. Uh oh, it's 55 inches instead of 5 feet. Let me measure this other piece. Maybe I can get five feet out of this one. And obviously that's too short also. I just ruined this piece of wood. Why? Because I didn't follow this principle. I measured once and cut once. Instead of twice, I ruined that part. And this is so important, I can't stress it enough because I avoided, as I told you previously, so many mistakes in the workplace because I've practiced this measuring twice or double checking. So as you take the test, remember, double check or measure twice your answers. I would like you to look at these scenes from around the world and Think of all the math and science that was used to design and build the trains and buildings. When you look at the buildings, there are building codes that must be used so every building is built safely. One needs to be able to read and to build according to the coding laws for each city. And I want to stress the importance of reading in building and designing. Let's look at these scenes. The first successful steam locomotive was invented in the early 1800s. Then came diesel-powered locomotives. Then came electric trains, and electric subway cars. Look at these buildings and think of the designing that takes place for the electrical, plumbing, air conditioning, and heat for each individual building. First, the solid foundation must be designed and then constructed before a building is erected. Think of the city planning for laying down underground pipes for water, sewer, and underground wiring for electricity and phones. 
then every building must have construction plans. Think of the building plan so water never enters these buildings along the waterfront. As you can well imagine, one needs to know mathematics to construct these buildings. Besides being a high school teacher, I've also worked as a tool and die maker, a foreman of a tool and die shop, and a tool designer, and I was operations manager of a large tool and die and stamping company. We use math constantly in building tooling. I want you to watch this video of a stamping die making parts. And as you watch this video, think of all the math used to build this tooling. I know, I used to design tooling like this. This is a form part being made with a power press and a stamping die. Think of all the math used to build this tooling. A conveyor belt removes the part and the slugs from the die. The metal is being fed into the die from a large roll of steel. Now the form part is being cut off and it falls onto the conveyor belt. You are just learning addition. I was once just like you, but I went to school and learned addition, subtraction, multiplication, division, and lots more. Then when I graduated from high school, I began using the math I learned in school. And so, just like you now, you're learning addition. This is the foundation of mathematics. Now you might have a little trouble Understanding addition, knowing how to do all the problems, we have put in the book additional helps and tests in the, right after this lesson, also in the back of the book. Use them to help you master this important subject. Please work the problems and take the test in your workbook. Number success, the practical way to learn.